Right, they've got a lot to get through today, okay? So stick to the script and remember what we said, let the thoughts form in your brain first. Small business. To keep millions of workers on the payroll. Uh, you've spoken to numerous leaders of countries. I've spoken to numerous leaders of countries over the last 48 hours and they are saying... There's much work to be done. We're leading the way. What? We're really leading the way. No, we're not. In so many different ways. Not even one little way. Look, can you just get Bill Bryan up here, please, before you present yourself with a big medal? Thank you, Mr. President, for this opportunity to do this today. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Bill Bryan, and I lead the Science and Technology Directorate at the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Over the last several months... Bill's talking. But to it's the fine, it's fine. And community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much, Mr. So I asked Bill a question that probably some of you are thinking of. Hello, hello. Is that mine? Yeah, is that chicken, katsu, curry, and passion fruit sorbet? Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. Where did Bill go? What's happening? What, why are you talking again? What did I miss? And I think you said that has him in check, but you're going to test it. Test what? And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body. Bring bot inside uh, bot what? Which you can do, either through the skin or... Through the skin, uh, sorry. Can, can we recap a little? Right, and then I see the disinfectant. Disinfect? Sorry, have I walked back into a parallel universe? What timeline is this? Where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that? Something like what? By injection inside or... Or almost a cleaning. Because you see it gets on the lungs and it... Does a tremendous number of lungs, so it'd be interesting to check that. Okay, you're going to have to backtrack for me yeah. here. Um, at what point did we start talking about Americans injecting themselves yeah, with bleach as a cure? And also, is this a fever dream I'm having? So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. Well, if you're going to poison yourself with toilet cleaner, uh, yes, medical doctors are the best kind. So we'll see, but the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. On surfaces! Yes, on surfaces, not on human skin, you dangerous puffin. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors. Stop saying medical doctors, just say doctors. It saves time, time we'll need to drive to the hospital after we drink our bleach martinis. To see if there's any way that you can apply... Oh God, what? ...light and heat to cure. Oh my flipping fish. You are so lethally ignorant. It's like talking to a three-year-old with a blowtorch. You know, if you could. You can't. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You can't! Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. You can't! I'm not a doctor, but I'm like... What? You're like what? Like an excitable man-child who thinks that laboratories can just dispense cures like vending machines? Well, I've got news for you, Professor. Virus treatments are not Kit Kats. I'm like... A person that has a good, you know what? Uh, no, I don't know what. I've got no idea. I've got no idea about anything anymore.